but now it seems to be really brightening and this is a little more unusual brightening than it normally does. so this could just be another indicator of the final legs of its life. a captivating cosmic display is currently unfolding enthralling astronomers worldwide. Betelgeuse, the mesmerizing red supergiant gracing Orion's shoulder, is undergoing a remarkable transformation. Its luminosity, the radiant glow defining its celestial presence, has surged extraordinarily, surpassing its customary brilliance by a remarkable 50%. At the beginning of this year, Betelgeuse held the esteemed title of the 10th brightest star in our night sky. However, an unexpected celestial enhancement has elevated its status to the seventh brightest star, making a prestigious ascent. Betelgeuse, a massive star in its late life stages, boasts immense size. If positioned at the center of our solar system, its orbit would extend as far as Jupiter. Its fate involves an eventual collapse leading to a powerful supernova explosion, potentially resulting in a neutron star or a black hole. The anticipation surrounding Betelgeuse's supernova is heightened by its optimal positioning for observation, approximately 650 light years away, providing humanity with a front row seat to this extraordinary event. This optimal vantage point offers astronomers a unique opportunity to study the intricacies of a stellar demise in unprecedented detail. When the supernova occurs, it will unleash a spectacular light display marked by an abrupt influx of detectable neutrinos, a phenomenon set to traverse the globe, discernible by observatories around the world. Subsequently, as high-energy photons emanate from the enlarging expanse of stellar remnants, Betelgeuse will be poised to undergo a rapid surge in luminosity, achieving unprecedented brilliance, reaching up to a hundred thousand times its usual luminosity. As Neil deGrasse Tyson put it, a supernova is one of the most powerful explosions in the universe. It's so luminous, it can be seen across billions of light years. It releases as much energy in an instant as our sun will produce over its 10 billion year lifetime. Despite the ominous historical associations of supernovae events, Earth is far enough away that we will be protected from any adverse effects. To unravel the mystery surrounding Betelgeuse, it is essential to harken back to the close of 2019, when the peculiar phenomenon first emerged. During this period, the red supergiant star began noticeable dimming, discernible even to the unaided eye. Optical spectrum observations using the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope unveiled Betelgeuse's roughly symmetrical appearance, while its photospheric layers displayed clear indications of substantial disturbances within our line of sight. The photosphere marking the outer layer of the star where light emission occurs exhibited a notable expansion, creating the illusion of the star swelling when observed from Earth. This expansion maintained a steady rate of approximately 8 kilometers per second for most of the year, until mid-November 2019, after which the outward velocity began to diminish. The material flow from Betelgeuse ceased, prompting astronomers to capture new optical images. Surprisingly, their observations unveiled two irregularities. Firstly, a darkened region emerged in the star's southern hemisphere, presenting a stark contrast with the earlier image from the beginning of the year. Secondly, the star's surface temperature underwent a decline of around 80 Kelvin. Between January 27 and January 13, 2020, Betelgeuse's brightness reached an unprecedented low, approximately a year after the cessation of the outflow. Nevertheless, the star gradually regained its luminosity over the subsequent months, ultimately returning to its normal magnitude. This raised the intriguing question, what had truly transpired with Betelgeuse? All available evidence strongly pointed toward Betelgeuse experiencing a significant and unprecedented event identified as a surface mass ejection, SME. This celestial phenomena is similar to the coronal mass ejections, the CMEs, we witness on our Sun, but with notable differences. Picture a gargantuan stellar eruption akin to a volcanic explosion, but on a stellar scale, where material forcefully bursts from deep within the star, sending shockwaves rippling through its atmosphere. 
This expelled material gradually converts into dust and molecules, leading to a reduced visibility of the star as it partially blocks out the line of sight, causing the star to seem fainter. In the specific case of Betelgeuse, there was a surface mass ejection that expelled a quantity of mass approximately 400 billion times more than what is typically seen from a CME on other stars. This event, marked by the expulsion of a mass several times that of our Moon, occurred at a remarkably high velocity, representing an extraordinary and unparalleled release of mass from the star's surface. The SME provided a unique opportunity for direct observation and examination of surface details using the Hubble Space Telescope, offering real-time insights into the aging and evolution of a dying star. The event had a profound effect on Betelgeuse, causing a significant loss of mass in a single occurrence. This event illustrated that a dying star can undergo significant mass loss beyond its typical annual decline attributable to stellar wind. Following this dimming event, Betelgeuse's behavior underwent a transformation. Previously pulsating or alternating its brightness every 400 days, it now exhibited pulsations every 200 days. Betelgeuse falls under the classification of a semi-regular variable star and undergoes multiple cycles of fluctuating brightness to variations in its size and temperature. This red supergiant demonstrates two primary phases of light pulsation. The initial cycle spans 400 days and is thought to result from pulsations in the fundamental mode. The second, more extended cycle, lasts approximately 5.6 years, with its origin still a mystery. While researching this phenomenon, scientists employed computer simulations to delve into a more profound comprehension of the transpiring events. The research paper proposed that an unusually hot gas current, resembling a large and intense bubble, emerged from within the star, disrupting regular pulsation patterns. As this hot bubble ascended and broke through the star's surface, it triggered the ejection of stellar material, further destabilizing the star's pulsation pattern. The star's surface continued to expand while its deeper regions contracted causing the transition from a customary 400-day pulsation to the new 200-day pulsation. Astronomers anticipate that the star's regular motions will gradually stabilize over the next 5 to 10 years, ultimately restoring Betelgeuse to its normal 400-day pulsation. Considering the potential for Betelgeuse to go supernova, Astronomers predict that this event might take place between 10,000 and 100,000 years from now. Through analyzing the star's hue, luminosity, dimensions, and presumed age, scientists have determined that Betelgeuse is presently in the initial phase of converting helium into carbon. This fusion sequence needs to progress through stages involving oxygen and silicon, culminating in iron before the star's core succumbs to its gravitational force. This would result in a monumental explosion. Given that Betelgeuse is situated about 650 light-years from Earth, we would only observe such a supernova event 650 years after it occurs. Therefore, it's highly improbable that we will experience this significant event within our lifetimes. Betelgeuse's exceptional visibility provides a rare glimpse of a star's surface, enabling us to explore the unique behaviors of large, aging stars. This has shed light on phenomena like unexpected mass ejections.